welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Up next, the Nets taking on the Knicks. For the Brooklyn Nets, kind of a seesaw affair over the last 10 games. But this team feels they are better than a 500 team. They look to tip that balance with the win here. Knicks, Nets, only on 2K Sports. Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. We've got some NBA action for you coming up. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, and our sideline reporter is David Aldrin. Hey, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Last season, James Harden moved past Larry Bird on the career points list. Harden said, passing one of the greatest ever is a great honor. I just got to continue to build because at the end of the day, I want my name to be mentioned with those greats. Well, it already is. Guys? I agree, David. Every word of it. Absolutely. Thank you. Here are the starters for Brooklyn. Irving and Harden, the two star guards. Paul Millsap out there with Bember. And it's Claxton in at the five. And for the Knicks, Randall and Robinson make up the inside pair. Sharing the wing spots, Fournier and Barrett. And it's Vidal in at the point guard. And the regular season Clark approaching its conclusion. Some have suggested pushing back the regular season permanently. Well, we'll see if it gets traction. You know, the thought is that it's better to compete with baseball as an NBA league than for viewers during the football season. Here's Claxton. Harden into the lane. James Harden. James Harden throws it down hard. And Harden, an absolutely vicious dunker. Terrific at bouncing towards the rim for the epic throwdown. That's good from Randall on the assist by MP. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. And boy, that looks like so goal goal. Yes, it is. Goal and so they ending. will award the basket there. So close to getting the block there. You, you can live with those calls because you'd rather have a guy playing aggressive instead of playing it safe. Here's Robinson, and another assist for him. And he has his eyes set on that season assist record with every pass he made. Already GA, he has the second most and now continues to march towards that top spot. And he continues to climb up the John Stockton ladder, past Stockton's second and third place marks for most assists, and all that's left is the top spot. Randall no good. The Nets have gone two or three here to start off the game. Outside Irving. Rise to the hoop. It's rebounded by New York. They come into this one having outplayed the Magic last game. Yeah, it was all hands on deck. Helps to get points off the bench when you're on the road. Absolutely, especially on the road when you need those guys off the bench to up the end. And Randall throws it down. Just another way Randall can beat you. Good hands for the catch and finish at the rim. They get a hand on it, and stolen by MP. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Good job getting the ball and completing that play. Boy, there's not much defense available once a steal is made. That's the best time to attack on the break. Timeout. And the Nets decide to take their first timeout here. This time they met was in Brooklyn. And they'll want to show that they're a much better team than they demonstrated last time out against these guys. At the very least, avoid a good blowout. And it really was the turnovers that fueled the blowout. I mean, a lot of questionable, poor decisions by them with the ball. And when that happens, you can get blasted. Now, here's Irving. 35 points for him last game against Houston. And there really was a physical aspect of his performance that was off the charts. He was taking it right at him, and he just kept getting those calls and getting to the line. And foul Next on the foul. shot, so he'll get a Nicholas chance at the line. Him. That's his first personal. You know what? You allow a guy to get foul. right to the rim like that. That's at your only option. Yeah, exactly. I mean, free throws at are always line. better than a layup, so I'd agree with you there. Good on the second free throw. 
First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. To the paint, looking to end the run. And there's the nice layup by Irving. That's right. Hey, the skills of Kyrie are obvious, but what isn't so obvious is his underestimated strength. And when it comes to handling the rock, Irving is second to none. Greg cannot agree with you more. He is special in the highest form of special. Great ball handling skills, finishing ability with both hands. I don't know if I've seen a better finisher under 6'3 in the history of the league. You might have somebody in mind, but nobody's been better than Kyrie Irving at finishing and getting it done with his handles and skills. Here's Irving following the score by New York. And it's good, two points. Irving. Irving's got his third basket of the night right there. All Irving needs is just a little room to convert, and he's good to go. Here's Vidal, it's tipped. Here's Harden on the wing. He's defended by Randall, and it's out of bounds. The Knicks will take it the other way. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. And an early swat like that can really set the tone. Now the shooters will be feeling his presence. Now here's MP. He's coming off an unbelievably scoring game. Pringle with the bucket. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Here is Harden. MP outside. Great tee that time from Irving. It does not get much easier than that, but somehow he came up empty there. Back to Harden. Passes it to Irving. Over MP. And again, no good by Brooklyn. And here's MP. He'll bring it up for the Knicks. Leading by foul. And the foul called on MP. That's his first person. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. No question about it. No flop there. That was a direct shot to the chest. Now, here is Harden. Playing Houston, he was nearly unstoppable. Irving. You know, that goes back, I think, to playing with LeBron in their Cleveland days. Kyrie learned how to operate without the ball sunk. Here's MP. Driving in, and the layup's good off the glass. MP's got his second bucket tonight. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling now. Here's Irving. It doesn't go for him. Good defense by MP. The Knicks leading by four. And MP throws it down hard. And this sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game. Well, there's a swagger out there. You can see it on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. Boy, and I used to love going up and jamming it down like that guy. How about that mobile one block we just saw? Amazing defensive work. And, and guys, don't think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big-time rejection. And so here is New York following the bucket by the Nets. Outside for Randall. Not as good off the bat. Randall's got eight. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. Harden bounce pass. To the left wing. Van the pass to Irving. Here's Claxton. Pass to Bembry. And a wide open look for Irving. And the Nets, another three. You know, he's got to be exasperated right now, fellas. I mean, playing excellent ball, but they're still losing. Here's Vidal. Oh, what a dunk! And how about just floating to the rim on that slam? Boy, when he gets up, I mean, he gets up. Yes, he does. That's what we call helium. He's rising and helium floating. Timeout called the Nets. Adjustments are a part of the game, and the right, coach sees something he doesn't like here. And you know what? We'll, we'll see, see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout. A tough look for New York. Erlins Noel checks in for Robinson. Toppin comes in for Randall. And it's Kemba Walker in for Fournier. Now here is Harris. 
An 11 point game for him in the win against Houston. And here's Harden for three. And it's MP with the rebound. New York leading by five. He takes it in. Score the bucket. He's made five so far, shooting a very clean five of seven. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, these hot streaks guys don't last minutes. They last days. Now here is Harris. Taking a look at his numbers, he averages about seven points a game. You know, Harris is such an aggressive hunter of his shots. Puts a lot of pressure on the defense, and sometimes the they get over aggressive with him. And Harris drops them both. And here's Walker. They look to him for part of their offensive attack. Right now, he averages nearly 12 points a game. You know, the best in OL. Back to MT. Slammed home and he draws the foul. A chance for another point at the free throw line. Defensive foul. Charlie it's going to be on James Harden. James well, there's Harden. nothing like being unselfish as a player, and Noel was outstanding in that regard. Reading the entire floor and finding his guys for high percentage shots. Now, here's Mills. 11 points for him in that last game against Houston. Here's Griffin. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. And that's a freight train coming at you. It's going to take a lot to stop a Blake Griffin drive. Here's Vidal. And the dunk by MP. I mean, he's just been brilliant today, guys. And it was the same exact story last time out. I wasn't quite sure if he'd be able to maintain that same level of play I had. Oh, oh yes, sir. Come on, Frank. Patrick yeah, you know, Mills is one of those energizing players who does a little bit of everything, including finding his open teammates. They get the rebound. Noel, no good with the layup. And stolen by MP. He lobs up the another possession, another assist. And the most assist record now has company. Amazing. What a year it's been for him as he has carved up defenses with his passing all season long. With the way huge assist numbers had dropped from playmakers, I didn't ever think someone would pull even with Stockton's 1,164 assists from the 1991 campaign. What a phenomenal season he's had to match a legend. To the inside. And another assist for him. And that assist was good. He's number one all time now. This is going to be a season from him that will be talked about for years to come. Well, he's been chasing history and John Stockton all season with his assist total. And he has finally reached the top of the mountain. The assist record is his after besting Stockton's previous high set back in 1991. It's blocked. And he hears it from this adoring crowd. Well, another superb night pass in the ball, huh, Greg? It, uh, it never gets old, does it? You think about just how many of his team's points have come from passes he's made. The assists have come in bunches all season long. Alec Burks checked on for Barry. Alec Burks. And so it's Burks bringing it up now for the New York Knicks. It's a 10-point game. MP against Griffin. And Toppin throws it down. Opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Tell you what, forget about easing into the game. They came out with guns blazing. Harden, happy to see that one go in for a second make in five attempts. Nice finish there. Harden is just calibrated to absorb contact and complete the play. Here's Walker. Good, and the assist goes to MP. And the Knicks lead by 12. That's the 10th straight point they've given up in the paint. And you know, it doesn't matter how good your defense is on the perimeter, you're going to allow easy ones inside like that. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys in the bench. They are pumped up. And that's what those alley oops will do for a team. Ignition switch ignited. And they have owned the paint so far, and the score reflects it. And, you know, establishing that physical dominance early gives you a big mental edge, too. Don't discount that. 
And so it's the New York Knicks up by a dozen here at the end of the quarter. Their strategy has been clear tonight. Work the ball inside, get shots in the paint, and now they are scoring with ease. We've got more in store for you right after this. Well, plenty of firepower, but Kyrie Irving committed to digging in at the defensive end as well. I, I wouldn't be able to do it without our bigs. And that's just an effort from our wings as well, helping me out. You know, I may not make the right play every time on defensive end, but, uh, you know, we're, we're doing a great job of covering for one another. You know, and I cover for my teammates as well as they cover for me. So, you know, that's just a tribute to our, uh, our team success on our defensive end. Now it's been a real focus, hasn't it, Greg, for them to tighten things up defensively? And it's a collective effort, so even the scorers have to be engaged and exert themselves in order to get stops. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown start it's been apparent they're determined to establish a presence in the paint. Another thing they've been doing so far tonight is knocking down the jump shot. And now let's check out the lines courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. And Brooklyn looking who they've got. Wing pairing it's Harden and Harris. And it's Mills. Then there's Griffin. And it's Sharp in at the center position. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer David Alden. Well, MP in the last matchup against the Magic had a huge game. He contributed 51 points, and the points were just the start of it. He joined an elite few by walking away with a quadruple double. His numbers were off the charts. He was unguardable, and he knew it. He took advantage of it. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David. You're right. He was a one-man wrecking crew in that one. Yeah, he was not going to let them lose that game. We'll, we'll see if he comes in with that same attitude tonight. Yeah, you know, every night's different. They may try to double him, might force him to adjust, or force him to make plays with the pass instead. We'll see. And the foul called on MP. Coming on to the floor for the Nets. It's the Nets now, down by 12. Here's Bembry. He picked up 12 points in their last win against Houston. And he also dominated the glass out there. He hit the boards hard and often. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. The line has stopped the alley-oop. And the pass there floated it up to the precise spot it needed to be. And no messing around on the finish. He powers it through. And that's an alley-oop that'll be loop-to-loop -loop all day long on the highlight reel. The pass to Vidal. Three-pointer. Rebound, Brooklyn. Coming into this, having notched a win against the Rockets in their last game. Yeah, I felt like they attacked, but with a purpose. They knew what they wanted to accomplish coming in. Well, it really showed the trust they have in one another. I love how they got after it. And you could feel that they were playing for each other. Feels to me like this team is going to need more from him, guys. I mean, if they're to erase this deficit, he's got to step up. Now we've seen mid-range jumpers lose favor, but Clark, it seems like the floater is on the rise. Kevin, it's a must-have shot in today's game because of the lane being open as much as it is the way the game is officiated where you can drive it and create foul situations. Smaller guys that get in the lane have to have a shot that can avoid all the defenders and the floater is that shot. Well, you know, he may be the best player in the league at drawing contact, James Harden. I mean, he's really clever at getting his body into defense. On the night, he's gone two for two at the strike. And <laughs> did he lay an egg at the stripe in their previous game? Couldn't get anything to drop. Was completely out of sync on his free throws, and I'm sure that led him to some extra work at the foul line. You know, guys, that's not quite the same success rate he had at the line last year, um, although it is somewhat in the neighborhood of last year's number. Right wing. 11 left to play here in the second quarter. Nice D from Fournier. 
The Knicks leading by 12. On the wing, MP. Traps in the tray. MP's got 23. Unselfish, good vision. Nice dime by Julius. And the ball goes out of bounds. Nice Last touch by MP. Ruffling ball. 54 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Here's Sharp. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's going to be a Bruins Noel. And working, Kevin, themselves to the line here in a second. A nice way to get your offense going. And maybe cause some foul trouble along the way as well. We know what that can do. It pays off typically in good fashion for you. Here's Vidal. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And he just seemed to have a little more fire Two shots. in the first quarter that he has in this one. And it showed in all the trips he made to the free throw line. Those have dried up. Here's Mills. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. 32 seconds left in the first half. On the wing, Harden. Guarded by Fournier. Harden. That's good. All Harden needs is a little separation. Once the screen comes his way, he's looking to pull up. MP with it. 25 points in the game. And Noel with the basket on the assist by MP. Noel's got his second basket of the night. It's Harden with the drive. Nice D from Fournier. Gets it off. No good that time. And so it's the New York Knicks with a sizable lead as the quarter wraps up. They're ahead, 16 points. They've got their field goal percentage to thank for that. They've been hot from all over the floor tonight. We'll get right back to the action when we return. After a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. You look at MP in this game, guys, he has been everywhere. Well, with the double-double in hand through two quarters, you can just imagine what his stack line will look like at the, at the end of this game. Yeah, he's got that locked-in look in his eyes tonight. And he's not going to start taking it easy. I think he's going to be going hard until that final whistle blows. In the forward positions, Barrett and Randall. Fournier out there with MP, and it's Robinson in at the center, locking down the middle. So that's who's on the floor for the Knicks. Claxed in the pass to Irving. Over MP. Goes back up, and stolen by MP. There's the drive, and MP throws it down hard. And you see the passing instincts Barrett has. Great at recognition out on the floor. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. Sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. When to rise up and swat that one away. It's good. James Harden. Harden's got 12. Great assist that time by Kyrie Irving. And here's MP. He'll bring it up for New York. They've got the Wizards ahead of them. Their next game in Washington. That will be a getaway game for them. A one-game road trip. And when the score is as lopsided as it is, and you can see they smell blood in the water, that man is going for the jugular. Well, he only plays one I way. He takes on full throttle all day, all the time, cold-blooded and lethal. And Harden really looks like he's been having fun out there. I would agree with that, Kevin. And he says he's the same way off the court, too. I don't know him off the court, but he says he loves meeting new people. I don't have any trouble believing that. Enjoys engaging with kids. And certainly the bright tennis shoes are part of everybody's NBA attire now, but he wears it as an expression of his personality. A tremendous mobile one block that we had to see again. Great send back. And that has got oh, oh, that was a strong goal. He's put on a show for these fans. I can't believe he pulled that one out in the course of an actual game. Well, when you know it, got to show it. He has a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldrin. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the Brooklyn Nets are creating a fresh legacy. 
Kevin Durant says it's new energy. We're one of the first teams in Nets history where fans are expecting us to do good things. The basketball culture is deep in Brooklyn, and they're looking for a team to latch on to. Well, guys, it looks like they found a good one. I agree, David. Thanks. Harden kicks to Irving. Robinson with the block. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. And another assist. That makes 15 assists. He's been one step ahead of the defense all game long. Harden against Fournier. Harden the pass to Irving. The three. Robinson pulls it in. Robinson's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the court. Puts the D in a tough spot when you have a point guard who can throw it down. He really does, G.A. He really does put pressure on him. And you know, guys, showing how dynamic a weapon he is for this offense, they feed off of that energy and ability to make plays. It gets them going. Robinson with the block. Millsap has the open look. Good. Oh, it's Harden with the assist that time. Harden's got his seventh assist in the game. Now, here's MP. He has 35. And Randall throws it down. You know, guys, every year Randall seems to improve as a scorer. You know, he's looking more and more confident, more comfortable out there scoring the ball. Timeout called the Nets. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. And, you know, I think he's going to tell him simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now. So, for the Knicks, Bobby Toppins checked in for Julius Randle. Burks comes in for R.J. Barrett. And quickly in for Fournier. Griffin's checked in for Brooklyn. Joe Harris comes in for DeAndre Bembry. Claxton the pass to Irving. Knocks down the three ball. Irving. Irving's got five points now in the quarter. And the shooting has really been there for him today, but he may have to take it upon himself to continue to carry the team and try and get out of this hole. Next no question, he got locked on that shot. That's yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. Back. For New York, they have shot six or seven at the line. For New York. And both free throws good for MP. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line to this half. 100% since halftime. Come on now. I'm not sure this lead's going away anytime soon with that kind of marksmanship. Griffin. Griffin shot is good. By but Harden's got such James a tremendous Harden. feel for the game and sees the whole court. He's a really slick creator. Passed to quickly. Back to MP. Uses the glass to finish the layup. MP's got 39. Boy, what a quarter for him. I mean, he's found his rhythm, and he's really riding that wave right now. Irving passes to Harden. To the wing right side. Back to Irving. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Griffin. Irving's got 29. And he's on his way to putting up a big three-point total. Passes it to Burks. And here's MP for three. Nailed from three-point land. The, the defense has just been unable to slow him down. Wow, what a game. On the wing, Irving. Inside, Griffin. Knicks with the rebound. MP's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. The dish to top it. Harden against MP. Here's Robinson. Oh, yes, he did. I about to find down for him so far. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. Outside Robinson. On the wing, MP. Covered by Irving. Here's Vidal. And that one drops. 
MVs at 44. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. Yeah, he's owning them on the offensive end, but, you know, he can't do it by himself. That's to Burks. Back to MP. He tries for three. Three again. New York with the triple. And he's finally getting the feel from beyond. His second three of the half right there. And MP throws it down hard. Here he comes, and there he goes. Ugh, look at him punish that rim. Boy, the guys on the bench loving every minute of that one. Irving looking for an opening. Here's Harden. Knicks with the rebound. MP's got rebound number two tonight with that last one. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. And really an incredible playmaker his entire career. Harden has taken it's that up a notch. And he now often looks for his teammates first. Making a switch Walker's checked in. And so it's Burks bringing it up now for the New York Knicks. And here's MP for three. The shot's good on the assist by Walker. Walker's got his third assist on the night. The Nets have gone better than 53% from the floor since halftime. Shooting 8 of 15. And huge assist totals for Harden, which is also a reflection, Greg, of the talent around him. And he's played with some of the best finishers in the game throughout his career. What changed starting last year uh, was his mindset, making it all that much more difficult to defend. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. Who wants a t-shirt? Make some noise! New York Knicks. New York Knicks. New York's gotten the three ball working for them in the second half. They've hit three out of three shots from long range. And Walker kicks to MP. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. MP's got 55. Yeah, they're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. The pass to Harris. They need this. It's blocked. That's out of bounds. Out Brooklyn of bounds. will retain possession. Brooklyn ball. And Mills kicks to Harris. Lock at six. And here's Harden for three. And after that good first half, things not going his way here Blake in the second. Yeah, how about the purpose with which he's crashing the backboards right now? Some hard-earned second-chance points. One fifty-two left in the third. Pass to Burks. And again, another assist. Hey. The chemistry he has with his guys is impressive. Keeping his head on a swivel, actively seeking out his teammate. And that James one's good. Harden. Harden's got four this quarter. And so far, going for more of an inside presence here in the second half, getting away from the three-point shot. MP deciding where to go with it. Driving the lane, and he banks in the lane. MP's got 57 points. And he has just been in a flow offensively. Terrific game. He has been the X Factor. And MP throws it down hard. Wow. We are going to remember that one oh, for a while. I know I will, Greg. That, that was special. That was really special. A circus dunk for you right there, guys. Outside Griffin. And it's blocked. And they recover it. Here's the lob to the hoop, and stolen by Noel. And a fast break now for New York, and Toppin throws it down. You gotta love his hustle, leading the defense, no time to react. And you know you're gonna get those buckets, guys, when you're quick to get out on the break. Next get that foul. ball up the court as fast as you can. And the foul called on MP. That's his fourth Coming foul of the contest. Randall's checked in for the Knicks. 
There it comes in for Burks. And the Nets also making a change. Andre Bembry's checked in for Joe Harris. Passes to Sharp. And the rejection by Noel. And Noel just staking his territory with his massive reach. That wingspan makes him an intimidating presence. He covers a lot of ground quickly. I mean, he's just making the D look foolish. I mean, that was one heck of a move to get himself the space he needed to operate. And how about the slam to finish it off? Not too shabby either. I gotta tell you what, safe to say that was a good looking play from start to finish. MP, no good. And so it's the New York Knicks with a major 39-point lead here at the end of the quarter. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. Back right after this. And a chance right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Yeah, and with the accuracy to go along with that. And this, I mean, you put the ball in the absolute perfect spot. That's how you orchestrate it. There have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. So no problem for New York as they get the win. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far tonight. And you got to commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game and to have that crowd be so pumped up. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Olney, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. See you next time.